Vincent Maggard production. Hey guys, it's Vincent. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a little web browser I made using DTK3, WebKit, and Python. So let's take a look. I have it set up to go to Google's home page by default. You can see that everything renders just fine. I can click around different links here and stuff, just like a regular web browser, because this is basically just a really simple web browser. And there you go, you guys can see what I'm talking about. I can uh, use the scroll bars over here on the side and scroll around the web page, no problem. I can use the address bar to visit another web page, like say apple.com. And there you go, you can see apple.com loaded, no problem. So as you can see, this acts just like a regular web browser in pretty much every way you'd expect. It's just very simple. So let's see how that I made this. So here's the code to this. And as you can see right here, we're importing GTK 3.0, we're importing WebKit 3.0, and then we're setting up a class here. We've got our window object. We're setting the position of its start position on the screen to the center of the screen because I like that to be where it starts. I've got the title set up to say example web view window because we are using the WebKit web view down here as you can see right here. And so, yeah, let's talk about this. So we have a button grid up here. This grid, oh, I almost forgot. We set the default window size to 1,200 by 800. And then we go ahead and set up a button grid here, or just a, a GTK grid. And we use this grid down here, set our column spacing, which this doesn't seem to be working for some reason, but I'm leaving it in there for now. The reload button, we set up that. We connect that reload button's object to the clicked event, uh, or we set, um, or, or to the reload view method. Uh, we connect the clicked event to. We then attach it to the grid, right? In the first position, we set our entry up. We have it set to its span. This is where you would type in the address. It's the address bar, if you will. When you press enter, we're going to run the method display URL, and we're going to go ahead and attach this right here to the um, to the button grid. We're going to set up a go button. We're going to connect the clicked event of the go button to the display URL as well. We're going to put that on the grid. So you can press enter, that sends activate, the activate event, which will display the URL. If you press go, that will display the URL. You get the idea. And if we take a look here, you can see we set up a GTK uh, box here, a vertical box. Then we pack our grid into it. Then we put our grid into our, our box, sorry, into our window. We take our web view and we set up that. We connect to the title change event so we can update the title in the, uh, the top of the title bar of the window. We load the default web page to google.com. We set the web view, or we request that, we don't need that right there. Uh, well, that was requesting the title, but we don't need that. I don't know why I put that in there. Just testing, I guess. Then we have the scroll area. This is the area where we actually put our web view, so we have the scroll bars and everything there. We add our web view to that using this code. Our box, we then pack that scroll area into that box. And finally, we connect the destroy event of our Windows object to GTK's quit method. And then you can see here, this is our title update right here and it allows us to automatically update the title when you go to a new web page display url does what you think it does it it will go ahead and tell webkit to load the url requested it checks to see if the url is empty and if it is we use a, a gtk message dialog to display to the user url entry cannot be blank and then at that point we go ahead and return to them and everything if they did give us a url so it's not blank we check to make sure that it's got the slash the http slash thing in it if it doesn't we add it uh, we're going to go ahead and load that URL now through the WebKit view, and then we're going to go ahead and have it set up to grab focus, which means it will, if you're like in the entry box, pressing enter, for example, that would still have focus if we didn't have the web view grab focus. I've seen a lot of GTK web browsers not do that, and it, it's annoying to me, so I added that. I'm talking about like example ones and stuff. Here we have the reload view method, and this is just going to uh, activate whenever the reload button is clicked, and this will reload the view, the web view, to right now with whatever's in it. The open method down here is actually going to show our window, so we're going to go ahead, come down here for if statement, make sure that we're actually running it as the as, as the program itself and not actually indirectly as like a library or something, or as a module. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create an instance of our class. We're going to call it main window. We're going to take that main window object and we're going to call the open method on it. And finally, we're going to run the GTK main loop to keep the window open. And voila, there you go. So 
pretty simple stuff. I also have another version of it over here that's basically the same again. The difference with this one is is that we actually display a, uh, a little basic HTML welcome screen right here that I wrote in like five seconds or something. It just says welcome to example browser. And so if we take a look at that example, you'll notice the difference with that one is is with that particular example, we actually get a, um, a simple welcome screen instead of Google, right, for our uh, first page that we t are taken to. And there you go. You can see welcome to example browser. But other than that, it works basically the same. So if we was to go to Google right now, so we go to Google.com, you can see it took us to Google, no problem. If that the URL bar is blank and you try to press go or press enter, it's going to yell at you with a dialog saying you need to enter something there. So let's go ahead and demo that. There you go. It says URL entry can't be blank. And there you go. And then it returns me back to the entry. So I may enter a URL. Simple as that. Reload works just fine. You can see Google reloads. Okay, the go button also should work. So if we go to apple.com, for example, using the go button, you can see that it still loads the page just fine, even when we don't use the enter button. So it's just a quick little simple video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The code for this is available on GitHub. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And see you guys next time. Bye, guys.